Sala, who signed for Cardiff on Saturday, was on board a private jet heading to Wales, which disappeared from radar on Monday night. A search and rescue operation, which included multiple air and sea assets from the Channel Islands, UK and France, was suspended for the day at 5 p.m. on Tuesday night. On resumption this morning, Guernsey police announced they were searching a targeted area. And in a further update at 9.30 a.m., Guernsey police confirmed that they are conducting that search based on four possibilities. The update read, we are searching based on four possibilities, one. They have landed elsewhere, but not made contact. 2. They landed on water, have been picked up by a passing ship, but not made contact. 3. They landed on water and made it into the life raft we know was on board. 4. The aircraft broke up on contact with the water, leaving them in the sea. Our search area is prioritized on the life raft option. More updates as information becomes available. The increased activity comes after a WhatsApp voice message from Salah emerged telling friends he was getting scared and aboard a plane that seems like it is falling to pieces. Salah says, hello, little brothers, how are you crazy people, brother, I'm dead, I was here in Nantes doing things, 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 and things, and it never stops, it never stops, it never stops. I'm here on a plane that looks like it's about to fall apart, and I'm going to Cardiff, crazy, tomorrow we already start, and in the afternoon we start training, boys, in my new team, let's see what happens, so, how are you brothers and sisters, alright? If in an hour and a half you have no news from me, I don't know if they are going to send someone to look for me, because they cannot find me, but you know, dad, how scared am I, Sala was supposed to begin training with his new teammates at Cardiff yesterday after sealing his £15 million club record transfer over the weekend. Cardiff City CEO Ken Ju said, We were very shocked upon hearing the news that the plane had gone missing. We expected Emiliano to arrive last night into Cardiff and today it was due to be his first day with the team. Our owner, Tan Sri Vincent Tan, and chairman, Mehmet Dalman, are all very distressed about the situation. We made the decision first thing this morning to call off training with the thoughts of the squad, management staff and the entire club with Emiliano and the pilot. All of us at Cardiff City FC would like to thank our fans and the entire footballing family for their support at this difficult time. We continued to pray for positive news.